Mark's Church, North Audley Street, London. An excited crowd kept the police very busy as they awaited the arrival of royal wedding guests and gave a warm welcome to Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Then the bridegroom, the 26-year-old Earl of Howard, nephew of the King. Mrs. Elvin Stein, mother of the bride, was closely followed by the Earl's mother, the Princess Royal. And now their majesties, the King and Queen, who with Princess Margaret had travelled from Balmoral especially for the wedding. Meanwhile, other large crowds were gathered in Kensington to see the 22-year-old bride, Miss Marion Stein, leave her parents' flat. A send-off full of goodwill for the girl who came to England as a refugee ten years ago and who now drives to her wedding to the Earl who is 11th in succession to the British throne. Accompanied by her father, the bride arrives at St. Mark. A final adjustment to the beautiful silver and white bridal dress of French brocade, and the young bride, calm and dignified, enters the church. So for a time, the police were able to relax, but not for long, as by the end of the service, the crowds pressed forward again to greet the bride and groom, the Earl and Countess of Howard. Young attendants also had their charming moment before the bridal car led a long procession to the reception at St. James's Palace. <laughs> Their Majesties and Princess Margaret take leave of the Bishop of Ripon before attending the reception, after which they were to return to Scotland. Queen Mary was not present at the wedding, but received a tremendous ovation as she arrived at St. James's Palace. Soon, amid a shower of rose petals, the bride and groom were to leave for Paris and the first part of their honeymoon. A good luck shoe tied to their car is a happy omen duly noted by the crowds and by two mothers, the Princess Royal and Mrs. Stein. So, to a final chair, the young Earl and Countess begin their new life in the afterglow of a joyful and a royal wedding day. <laughs> <laughs>